and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a Texas icon, the armadillo, otherwise known as the Texas speed bump. You may see them everywhere around here, but don't let their slow waddling ways fool you. They can cause complete chaos in your backyard. So what are armadillos? Why do they love Texas so much? And how can you keep them from destroying your backyard? Today, we're going to dig in, no pun intended. So what is an armadillo? The armadillos are like small to medium-sized mammals known for their distinctive armored shell. In Texas, we typically see the nine-banded armadillos here. They are really notoriously slow, and despite their prehistoric look, they're really fragile. They're nocturnal, they have terrible eyesight, and they love to dig around your garden for insects and bugs, which is their main diet. Texas is a prime spot for armadillos. They really love the hot and humid environment, and you're mostly going to find them in areas of lots of high soil. So think about like forests or um, lots of field space, or unfortunately, your flower beds. So despite the fact that they are nocturnal and they don't see very well and they move really slow they may seem harmless but actually they can cause serious damage to your garden since they're digging for bugs and dirt and worms in your garden and in your flower beds if they get too close to the structure they can cause serious foundation problems which is going to cost you a lot of money so how do you know if you have an armadillo problem well because they're nocturnal and unless you're up at those hours you're probably not going to see them but you may hear them outside your house like the scratching or usually when you're out in your flower bed you're going to find little mounds of dirt or little holes. So I was on vacation and I wasn't in my flower bed for some time. So look what I came home to. Okay, so check, check out this hole I found in my garden. I obviously was gone for too long. You shouldn't leave it this big, you know, this long. However, he has built himself a nice little, it's probably six inch deep hole and it goes pretty far back there. Look how deep that thing is. So hopefully he hasn't gone under my foundation already. All right, so now you've discovered you have armadillos, what do you do? Well, they are protected in some places, so just make sure you check your local regulations. So I purchased this trap, it's called a have a heart trap, and it's a humane trap, so you can release it. And I have created this little barrier, so you put this where they, you find the holes or the uh, movement of the soil and because they can't see very well they're just going to kind of bounce off the barriers and go right into the trap and I found that this works the best way. Once you have the armadillo in the trap what do you do with him? So ideally you want to release him away from your house about five miles outside of your house or other round of maybe properties so we took him to a park and here we are ready to release him okay first i'm going to open up the trap and hopefully he will meander out There you have it. Now you know how to confidently and humanely take care of your armadillo problem if you find yourself in this predicament. Also, don't forget you need to check your flower beds and your foundation. Go look around. Don't leave it like I did, but go check it out. And if you see those little mounds, take care of it early so you don't have that giant hole underneath your house. All right. I hope you enjoyed it and you found this useful. All right. Talk to you soon and see you around.